commander is in trouble. 20 health. Oh, he's down. 10, 40. Oh, oh he's dead. He got revived. That's not that good. Oh. And the mech boy has the bucket. It, was that the mech boy you rezzed him? Yeah. And then he ran off because he's almost dead. Wow, nice save on his part. Indeed. Holy Hammer is not doing so well. Look at his side of the map, he's completely... <laughs> the orcs continue to just dominate their side, and right now, uh, Holy Hammer is just devoting all his resources to helping out his teammate. Wow, what happened to those two orc squads? They just got They just died right around the, uh, the force commander. <laughs> wow. Or, which is a tech marine. Uh, I can't tell. What? Oh, there is the tech marine. Maybe he hit him with that shockwave blast that affects all nearby units and he just killed them all. Hmm. It's possible that's what he did. Anyway, the marines are starting to come back. They've taken the southern VP and now they're starting to take the middle. Okay, notice here on this powerpoint, this powerpoint has been OP'd. That's why they're shooting at it. they got to bring down the OP before they can secure it. And every time a unit is killed or they lose units, they build what I like to call rage. That's, you know, it just goes under a different name each faction, but it's I like to think of it as just rage. The re that resource can be used to purchase powerful commander abilities at a cost of that said rage meter. Uh, anyway, the orcs are just, the orcs are consolidating their positions, but Holy Hammer is planning to push up on his side and reclaim it. Uh, but he's still working with Blaster to, to maintain control of the center, and they are taking on a major Tyranid force. But here comes the assault troops moving in. Oh, cut him up! Oh my! That oh, was but a nice attack right there. Yeah, nice attack, forcing the Tyranid forces back. They are just—they have no melee units of their own. They're completely dedicated to the range game, as you can see, which is a detriment against melee forces. If you notice, those, warrior, those warriors are armed with barbed stranglers, which it, once they are fired upon an enemy, that automatically suppresses them. Oh, looks like the, the bus is finally going to tier 2. Uh, the Marines are getting pushed back. Blasta is going to Tier 2. Uh, Holy Hammer is already at Tier 2. He is buying a Devastator Plasma Cannon, which is an artillery-type squad. It's effective against both armor and enemy troops in clumps. So... It's the only detriment, though, is that you have to keep it covered, and it doesn't fire very quickly. You know, it's the Death Dread on the field, up near the uh, northernmost VP. The Death Dread is an Orc Mech, which is part of the Tier 2, right, Rub? Yeah. It's essentially, the light mechs are like a light vehicle in this game. We have, a, team. we have a Carnifex from Noav out in the field. Oh, those two Devastators squads down south are in trouble. Oh, man. I wouldn't Here want come the Spore Mines. Fall back. Oh, those Devastators are in trouble! Oh, the spew and their days from the ex explosion! They're getting caught in melee! Oh, no! Oh. Barely got away with 15 health. Wow. Mm. Meanwhile, up north, Holy Hammer is starting to push forward with his troops to reclaim that those resource positions. They are taking MG fire from that guard tower. They definitely need to do something about that. But looks like the Tyranids are moving in to reinforce the northern orc position. Was that a Carnifex that just spotted? That is a Carnifex. Uh, Orange Kid announced it earlier. And it is moving up on the north. It wants to feed on Marine they are Blood. Fun to watch. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh that, that poor, poor bastard. Oh! Just got tossed by the death thread. <laughs> Devastator setting up, but it's not going to do much good against that Death Dread unless... Oh, he's luring it into Ooh, 18 plasma fire. Cannon. Plasma fire and two attack marines armed with missile launchers for anti-tank. Ooh, that's got to hurt. 
Yeah, I don't know what he was doing there with that death pit. Yeah, maybe, uh, obviously, did not anticipate that from the Marine infantry. And now they are starting to make their counterattack. They know they can deal with that Carnifex if they focus fire on it. And Plasma Cannon Squad is moving up to set up. That is a lot of units of North. That is. Here comes a plasma oh. shot. Oh, nice round. Here comes another round. There it goes. Mech boy's electric shield. Oh! Mech boy with an I'm electric sure what he's trying shield. to accomplish. He's trying to get in close and have the electric shield knock away all his marines, which it does. The enemy, but ally has taken a victory point. Uh oh. Oh. Well, while they're busy with uh, Holy Hammer, Glass is recapping the entire map right now. Oh, nice work. Even though Holy Hammer took the brunt of that attack, Glasta was decapping the rest of the map and securing it for the Marines. Nice move. But now the Orcs and Tyranids are moving in on it. And Glasta's commander is running away from center as the Tyranids and Orcs try to reclaim those positions. Fight on and drive the enemy back. But right now, Orkzilla, when you look at the amount of, look at the amount of troops he has left, he lost quite a, a few point. forces after that battle. He's down to just two other squads other than his commander. Or no is, uh, is still at full complement. His mech boys in the uh, attack over here. <laughs> Carnifex attacking some tack marines and assault marines. Oh. From the uh, northeast. Okay, he needs to retreat that mech boy right now. He is getting shot at by devastator fire. Oh, that is not worth it. He's not gonna make it. Oh. Oh. Duh. Oh, right at the cap. The mech boy goes down. And now Orkzilla Warrior's commander is down and out. No, oh, this is not good. Orkzilla is. hardly has any troops to support his teammate, who now has to bear the brunt of two large forces of Marines. Uh, Blasta is recapping the center with his uh, force commander using a bubble shield which drains energy instead of health. No, Carnifex are coming in. Oh, it wanted some marine blood, but it's not going to get it. And, oh, the commander's too fast. They're not going to catch it. Tyranid and Orc players securely holding the center now again. Forcing Marines back. Yeah, but clearly Orkzill is hurting. He's down to just, uh, like I said, still just has three other squads, even though he's at maximum tech. And now the Marines are just, or Blast is starting to get uh, tech three, and Holy Hammer is building himself a dreadnought. And uh, Orkzill is bringing in some knobs, boys. Heavy melee infantry moving in, and they are getting suppressed by Devastator fire. But the Carnifex is moving into the Carnifex charge. Oh no! <laughs> Smashing into the Marines! And it's dropping babies on top of them. 